on Apple Vision. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. Have you seen Apple Vision? A little bit of it. It's fucking sick. What, what aspects of it are you most excited about using? Oh, dude, anybody that watch, watches me work in the office or watches me work, period, anywhere I'm at, will, will answer that question for you, for Sam personally, because I can't sit down. I, dude, we were talking about that the other day. Like, I've been just checking whatever the little steps when I wear my Apple Watch. I'm hitting like 12, 13, 14,000 steps. Like, um, it's, you know, I like working outside typically, and so it's gotten cold lately. And so um, when I'm working at my house, I've been working in the garage a lot, which I'm starting to like, now that I've moved into this new house, I'm over here like, I might just turn the garage into my office low key. Um, like, you know, one side uh, you charge the car and the other side you have the office. Why am I talking about working in the garage in Apple Vision? The reason why I'm talking about that is because now that it's gotten cold and I've been working in the garage so much, um, it's concrete floors and my feet freaking hurt. And literally the other day when I was like building out that whole system and worked like 22 hours straight, I laid in bed that night and dude, my feet were killing me. Like they hadn't hurt that bad since I worked in a warehouse when I was 18 years old. Like it was awful. So what does that have to do with Apple Vision? The reason I'm bringing up the way my feet hurt in the damn garage when I'm walking around is because I walk and talk. I walk, walk around and work. Apple Vision, what has me the most excited about it is because you literally can throw that bitch on your freaking face and you don't have to do this crap everywhere you go like this. You know, the only reason I traded in my powerhouse MacBook, uh, that uh, I had like the 14 inch and super fast, literally because I was tired of carrying it around. It was too heavy. It was like, this is a hoss of a laptop. I got a smaller one because I walk and talk. Why do I say all that? Well, um, and I don't do this for because of Steve Jobs type thing at all, but you know, he would take meetings walking with people. Hey, let's go for a walk. It would never be sit down meetings. Um, literally they say uh, in sales, I had sales jobs in the past that motion creates emotion. And so the movement of being able to walk around while you're having ideas, it keeps your body moving. Like there was tons of people in different sales jobs I had when I was right out of high school that they would have, they would just walk in circles and pace. I'm talking about walking and working because the Apple Vision, what has me the most excited about it is not the virtual reality. It's not, it's not, well, it is the augmented reality, but not for the fact of it changing and merging tech and, and physics and physicality. That's not happening, dude. The only way that's happening is if we have some sort of post-apocalyptic BS. And I can talk about that later because people want to touch and feel that is the whole name of the game. That's why this company wins all the time is because the way that their devices feel in your hands feel tremendously better than their counterparts. Um, so why do I say all of that? And why am I so excited for the Apple Vision? Because I don't think I will buy the first one because of how heavy the headband looks. I don't want them to kind of make it a little bit more minimal but I'm ex super excited, I still might buy it, but I'm super excited about it because my vision of it is that, my vision of the vision, is that I can literally throw the goggles on and I can operate using all the different apps I operate right now, moving my hands and operating like I'm doing right now without having to be glued into a screen. See, what I've noticed, one thing that I admire um, of coders, uh, and, and the engineers, and they're able to do this, put headphones in and do this for hours at a time. And I don't know about you guys, I can't. I have to move, I can't have my eyes stuck on a screen. Like, that's why I have so much trouble playing video games still, is because it's like, okay, oh I gotta sit there and watch the screen. I wanna be able to move around. But what has me the most excited about the Apple Vision, even beyond the movement, is what they show in the film or the trailer where you don't 
where you can merge it. You can turn off everything and it's pure VR, or you can turn it all the way back so you can see your apps and you can see everything else. That's the part that has me the most excited because it's not cutting you off from reality, like the Quest and the meta crap, where they're like, yeah, we're all funny cartoon avatars and we're all working in a virtual office. Hey, Steve, how's, you, how's the dogs? How's the kids? No, that looks stupid, man. Any grown adult is not trying to go into work looking like a freaking um, Nintendo Wii character, okay? Nobody wants to do that. But what people are cool with is a Zoom call. Why do I always keep my camera off on the Zoom call? Because I don't want to be stuck. Yeah, let's talk like this. I want to move. Well, if you can have a Zoom call with your Apple Vision and the camera's right here and you can see them, they can see you and you guys can walk around talking to each other and it has that level of augmented reality that really is immersing the tech and the communication aspects, which is 80% of business, all right there in front of you in a vision like um or in your vision and um the other thing that like i'm super excited about is whenever uh figma sits here and adds figma to apple vision and i can literally move apps like this because i do it already in my head anyway because i'm over obsessive about it but being able to visually see every single screen and feature of your app while you're building it and move them around on the design stage right there in front of you that is going to be incredible man this made the apple vision i think could be the most impactful thing for business and communication since this guy which this guy was the biggest communication business impact since this guy and so yes I'm not running the Apple hype train. In fact, if you check my Twitter, I talk more shit about Apple than anything, mainly because I just, you know, I'm a snob and I think they could do better in different parts. But honestly, if, when it really comes down to it, they do great. And I think this Apple vision is gonna change the game. Do I think the first one, maybe, but I can just already tell that headbands like this thick, the goggles are real big on your eyes and i it, it i don't really see that being as user friendly and comfortable and i don't see me wanting to wear that for 12 hours straight or six hours straight but at the same time if you look at the original power books um from apple or you look at the original imax and you know apple II computers those were not very fun to use and were not slim and easy to use like this is or like the MacBook Air is. Um, and so I definitely think, I don't think it'll take 20 years either. I think over time, they're gonna make that Apple Vision so slim and easy that you can just throw it on, maybe even like some glasses. You know, maybe not because everyone's scared to make glasses because Google did so terrible with theirs. Um, I don't know if they really did terrible, but it sure as hell never made it to market. Um, but I do see them getting slimmer, smaller, more comfortable. And as soon as they're as comfortable as these damn AirPods, which I hear some people complain about, but I have three pair and wear them every hour. Um, I think that Apple Vision is going to be the go-to. I think that's what everyone's going to use. It might even get to the point that we don't even touch MacBooks anymore. In fact, we might just have a keyboard and being able to throw it on there, which I also saw with the Mac, uh, with what they're doing here, that you can even plug your or connect your MacBook and use your Apple Vision as a monitor. That's cool. People are like, oh, it's amazing. I don't really see that being that amazing because it's like, yeah, you get a bigger screen, but you're still glued to your keyboard. But either way, on the same time, like, yes, I do see the Apple Vision being the future. Yes, I do see apps needing to be developed on it. And yes, I really hope someone calls Ivy Works ASAP and asks for an Apple Vision app so we can go ahead and have a reason to start building on it because no, I don't think Tree is gonna be doing it anytime soon, um, but I definitely would love to build on it and I also would love to have one and probably will get one just so I can start trying it out even if it's not that comfortable.
Peace. 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 Peace.